evenings. Everyone who gave me a gift to pass it to Connor. I'm not going to pass it on, but I cash it myself, so thank you. Do you have one? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, hello, everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Grant, and I have the fortune of being both both an amazing friend of the bride and the older, wiser, better looking brother of the groom. Um, I will have a few toasts uh, this evening, so please fill your glasses. So, uh, okay. not actual toasts, I might have a lot of toasts. Um, all right. uh, I've known Connor pretty much his whole life. Uh, what can I say? Connor's like a brother to me. Uh, <laughs> He's handsome, intelligent, witty, charismatic. Carter, I can't read your handwriting. Been through this one. Alright, so oh, I don't even have my glasses, I'm still this one. For my first toast, I'd like to introduce some really important people whom I'm sure you'll get to meet throughout the evening. Without them, none of this will be possible. To the bartenders. I can tell you that Sarah told me to make sure that the speech was appropriate as I wanted to fill it with bad puns, horrible jokes, and some crazy stories. Oh. Um, Carter said if I did a really good job, I could be his best man at his next wedding. Um, I have to say, Sarah, you look stunning today. It's too bad we couldn't clean up Connor. Um, but Connor, mom said you look really nice, so that's a plus. Yeah. Oh, and also, we got Allison in the dress, so let's give a round of applause for Allison. Uh, to be honest, I think I might be a little bit jealous, because in reality, Connor is the guy everyone, everyone wanted to be around with, to the point we share the same group of friends as kids. Um, even my imaginary friend left me to go hang with Connor. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sad times. Uh, we were not always that close though. Uh, we fought a lot and we broke a lot of stuff in our house. I'm really sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. We cost you guys a lot. Um, but as we grew up, we matured. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> uh, we overcame what we had, like all the fights we had as kids, and uh, we kind of we developed a special connection. Um, spend time with us, and you'll know that's true. Uh, so when Connor said he was going to propose to Sarah, I felt like I was going to lose my best friend. Um, oh. yeah. Uh, when I reflected on all the good times I had with Connor, uh, it came to my mind that Sarah was there too, either cheers, cheering us on or cleaning our mess up. Uh, so in my mind, there's no doubt that Sarah is Connor's soulmate. And I realized that I'm not losing a best friend, but gaining a sister. I've seen the way that Sarah looks at Connor, and it's beautiful. I've also seen the way, sorry, I've seen the way Connor looks at Sarah, and it's beautiful. I've also seen the way that Sarah looks at Connor, and it's okay. She tolerates it. Uh, but I spend any amount of time with them, and you'll know that they both love each other immensely. Looking at Sarah right now, I can tell that she's smiling. So um, she must be supporting this speech, so I'm doing good. And if she wasn't, Victoria would be up here stealing the microphone from me. Uh, so now I'm going to offer some relationship advice. But remember, this is coming from the most unqualified person in this room. Connor, you might fight with Sarah from time to time, but remember, never would have been angry because you're completely defenseless in your sleep. <laughs> Sarah, this is for you. Remember, a good wife always forgives the husband for when she is wrong. <laughs> when that happens, when that happens. <laughs> Connor, you're the best brother that I've never asked for. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It's hard to 
to see you sit up there when I can still remember you being a little brat. But you're my best friend. I'm so proud of you. Uh, Sarah, when we came down the aisle today, I knew that Carmen made the right choice. You've always had his back, and now you have his hand in marriage. And I can proudly say that I'm ecstatic to have you as my sister and welcome to my family. But I can ask one thing. Sarah, can you put your hand on the table by Connor? Now, Connor, I'd like you to place your hand on your beautiful wife's hand. Alright. Connor, I would ask for a moment of silence for everyone, please. And a toast. Connor, this is your moment. Enjoy it. Cherish it. Savor it. Because it's the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessing. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. And may you name your first child after me. <laughs> Cheers. Go back to 
to your dinner now. Salads will be cleared momentarily, and then we're on to the entrees and cubic speeches. <laughs> Thank you.